That is the greatest jacket I've ever seen. Can you turn around? I want to yeah, see the yeah. back. Look yeah. at the back of this jacket. Yeah, drink this in. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Lou Rawls. Lou Rawls. Lou Rawls. That is fantastic, dude. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you for being here, and uh, thank you for always coming on the show. For sure. Both uh, me and Lou Rawls are happy to be here. The, uh, the last time you were, were here since then, you won a Webby Award. I did. Uh, congratulations. Thank you very uh, much. But with I, our with our own with Black Thought. Yeah. Tariq and I won a Webby Award together. We are yeah. Webby winners. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you, t you tweeted this out. Uh, Looks like Black Thought and I won a Webby Award, which means Questlove finally has to officially make me a member of the Roots. See you at band practice. Yeah. Uh, how's it going? It's, uh, it's good. I think, I'm not sure how this works out if one of them has to leave to make space for me. Like Menudo type of thing? Yeah, which, you know, Mark, pack your knives and go. Oh, Mark, we had a good run, though. We yeah. had, a good, we had yeah. fun. No, it's, it's me in now. And also, I don't know if, like, if, are you guys sold on The Roots as a name? <laughs> well, what, 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 what are you thinking? Well, I was thinking, like, the Y Utes is kind of nice. <laughs> like, you've nice. got some of the same stuff already there. <laughs> yeah. Why the, the Y Utes? The Y Utes. The, why yeah. not? Yeah. You were, but weren't you in a group when you were in high school or something? <laughs> When I was a kid, I was in a singing group, yeah. Uh, but we didn't <laughs> actually do any gigs. <laughs> but what, how far did you go? We got a manager. We got a manager. What? It was uh, two of my friends and I. We got a manager, this guy named Champagne. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. His uh, name was Champagne. That's the name he gave us. <laughs> I'm not even sure. I, and the weird thing is, I never met Champagne. He only spoke to us on the telephone. <laughs> <laughs> and never booked us any gigs. How did you, how did you find Champagne? I think Champagne found us. <laughs> Dude. I think it was just like some telemarketer who was like, yeah, that's right, I'll manage you. Yeah. And, you, and, and, and he got a cut of any gig. If you did do a gig, he would get Yeah, he was going to get a cut. I mean, I think he wanted money from us, and we didn't have any money. So then... Like high school kids. Yeah, Champagne stopped calling. But, <laughs> oh, no. But there was a weird part of it that felt a little bit like Charlie's Angels, where we just had this disembodied voice of this person named Champagne who was like, hey, I got this mall I want you to perform at. <laughs> This is a this is a movie, by the way. You have to get, make the Champagne's Angels, right? the, the Champagne Angels. <laughs> ooh, that's, Dude, that's maybe a, that's why we never had a name, and maybe that's what he was working us up to was yeah. the Champagne Angels. Uh, we we now and then we have an acapella group. Me and the Roots. We can get into it every now, like one, two, three, do da do 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 stuff like that. Oh, that's very nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, we open and close with that. Yeah, yeah. That's all we do. Do you all need a manager? Because I know a guy. <laughs> oh, my God. Champagne, if you're watching, please uh, give your us a call. Your phone is just going to ring. Oh, of and course. And you're going to be like, I don't know this Cham number. It says, it says potential spam, but I'm going to pick it up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's me, Champagne. It's Champagne. Let's do this. <laughs> uh, uh, last time we talked, you actually got, I don't know, started on Twitter or social media to get problem areas on HBO Max and streaming or on YouTube for free so people can check it out and see your show. And, and you did it. You yeah. pulled it off with everyone's help. Yes. Uh, uh, so thank you. Yeah. You got it back up. It is unbelievable. And uh, what's interesting to me is that uh, every episode actually just, it looks like you filmed it last week. <laughs> and you're just like, oh my gosh, this is, these are still problems. Yeah. Uh, are people, Reaching out to you going like, I just saw the latest episode, and you're like, yeah, I did that two years ago. <laughs> People have reached out and said like, oh, I really appreciate the show. And uh, in the second season, we focused on public education, and we had spent some time in a high school in Brooklyn. Uh, and this per one particular high school, it's called Research and Service, and the students, uh, there are a lot of students there who deal with food insecurity, and so the principal and the students built a food pantry where the kids could get like 10 grocery items every week for them and their families. And so as we were talking, I had told them about another school I went to. Uh, the Minneapolis School District has like a farm to school program where all their food for the cafeteria comes from local farms. Wow. And because of that, the schools have started actually like building gardens and farms and hydroponic gardens in the school. And I was saying, oh, you should get like a hydroponic garden for your food pantry. And then I went to HBO and I was like, hey, like, why don't we try to hook them up with a hydroponic garden? 
And so that principal just uh, reached out, her name's Principal Farrington, and she just reached out the other day to say that they finally, I guess HBO's check finally cleared. <laughs> and so two years later, but they finally started building a, a hydroponic garden. Are you kidding? That's fantastic. Yeah. See, bud? That's got to make you feel good. That does, yeah. And if anything now, we should just pressure HBO to, like, build them a solar roof. Yeah, get, yeah, yeah. get all the kids with cars. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. I'm, I'm happy to spend HBO's money. <laughs> yeah. uh, if you haven't seen Problem Areas, uh, go to HBO Max and watch it. It's fantastic. Congrats on that. Wyatt Cenac, everybody. Uh, seasons one and two of Problem Areas are streaming now. Hey.